Friday everyone. I'm Ann Burchard. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to use the bundle Sending Hugs with the Coordinating Die Set. I was inspired by PS Paper Crafts off of Pinterest and I'm going to be using the 2020 to 2022 in colors. The Pale Papaya, Soft Succulent, Polished Pink, and fresh freesia and a little evening evergreen as well. So let's get started. And you set all of this aside. Start off with basic white. I cut it at five and a half. You can score it at four and a quarter or just fold it in half. Get your bone folder out. Give it a good press. There we go. Then I'm going to layer it with basic black and I cut this at five and a quarter by four. So it's just a quarter inch shorter than my card base all the way around. And if I've got the top and the sides equidistance, then I know that the bottom is going to be good. Then I'm going to bring in another piece of basic white and this is five by three and three quarters. Again, stepping down and you can see I am frugal with my paper. This was supposed to be printed off of regular copy paper, but I had left some basic white in my printer and it went through curses. Now this is, I'm not going to glue these down yet, but I cut these at three and a quarter by a half inch each of these. And again, pale papaya, soft succulent, uh, fresh freesia, and polished pink. And that's going to sit behind the word hugs. Let me set this aside. I'm going to bring in some basic black. And my first die cut is going to be the Hugs background. I'm going to bring in the mini cut and emboss machine and the platforms one and two. Set this on. And then another platform two, or cutting plate two. Crank that through. That's my strong voice. It's easier standing up. There we go. And let's take this off. Look how pretty this is. And you can use your take your pick tool and start poking out all the littles or you can buy the attachment let me grab it the brush attachment and it fits right on and scrape it through I'll go back in with the pokey tool that's technical term Come on out, release. Once again, if I talk to my projects, they should listen. But right now they're listening like my eight-year-old. Only if they want to. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to my newsletter. Text the word Ann Burchard all one word, all caps, to the number 22828. Or there's a link in the description box where you can sign up that way. I will send you a free ink pad of the ink colors that I'm using. I didn't plan that, but that worked out well. Okay, that's an S. 
Look at this is going to be stunning. I like that the black and white is going to show off these colors. I don't know if you can hear my dog's little prints in the background. But she is geriatric and gets confused easily. And then once she finds her bed, she'll sleep all day long. So right now she's wandering around. Not sure why. There we go. A couple more. This just does not want to come off. One more little guy. There. Oh, oh wait, there he is. Did I get them all? I did. All right. Set that aside. Clean this off. Because otherwise, that'll be stuck to the project. Oops. Another little one. Okay, now I'm going to bring in this other, oh, you can see all the black cardstock that got stuck. Take your pick tool, works perfectly. Poke that out, and you will be set to go for your next project. Ta-da! Okay, I'm going to take this die, the hugs, and I'm going to send it through with the different colors. cardstock all over my craft room. All right, so again, platform one and two, and this time I'm going to start off with Pale Papaya. Oh wait, not that card. That would be sad. Scratch paper. I'm going to tear this off. I want to say scratch paper, but a scrap of Pale Papaya, and I'm going to send this through. And I'm going to set all my letters right here. So if I go looking for them, remind me where I put them. Okay, that one's done. Then bring in polished pink. And again, run it through. about this card I can make a bunch more because I have the letters already die cut okay fresh freesia if you notice I am putting in the die at an angle so a corner hits the rollers first and not a flat edge and that'll make your embossing machine, both the mini and the big one, happy. Okay, that almost came off. There we go. These letters. And then one more with the soft succulent cardstock. Well, that fit just nicely. That's a happy accident. Crank that through. 
Oh, no, 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 no. All right, letters down. Those off. All right, set that aside. Put this away so I don't lose it. Let's build a card. And I'm going to put this to the side. I think I'm going to be using it. Uh, the die comes with these labels for the sentiments, so I think I'm going to come back and use those, and then grab some of these other dies to decorate the inside. But we'll see. I haven't decided what we're going to do. I want my silicone mat and my liquid glue and let's start gluing these letters. So let me see which orientation. Let's see, I need the G. There's a green. Nope. I already used the green. Freesia, and I need the nests and the pale papaya. That'll work. Let's go for it. Oop, I missed one. All right. So remember, dot dot, not a lot. And I have little tweezers, and that's gonna help me put this on. Sorry if my head's in the way. Whoops, I was trying to wipe off the glue and instead I wiped off my letter. Okay, and then the U. Normally when I craft, I have music in the background, anywhere from 70s rock to classical. Leave in the comments, what do you listen to when you're crafting? Or is it silence? Do you have the TV on? Listen to your family. There we go. All right, and again, let's get that glue off. How pretty is that? Okay, now let's set this here and Get the right color. Nope, these two switch. Okay, might be able to. Put it directly behind. Let's see. This is going to take some fussing. Okay, let's start with that. You could also use the stamp and seal, but I want to give myself some time if this is not in the correct location. I've got glue on my fingers, it's sticking. Okay. This guy. Ugh. Slide this down. Let's see. That's how we'll do it. I'm an engineer. I can figure this out. Right. That's the distance I want. So let's put a little glue. Right there. 
here. And then for the G. Oops, not all the way down. There we go. Okay, and last one. We'll get it a little more. Done. Calling it good. I think I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Nah. Not today. I'm going to put the glues just behind the letters. Let's give it a little bit of dimension with the filigree around. Stop, not touching it. Okay, now let's add, I think I'm gonna do sending you and I'll put it right here. Let me grab sending you and a block and some basic white cardstock. Again, just a scratch piece, something that'll fit the sentiment. And I am using Evening Evergreen, which is part of, oh, I don't like that one. Let's do it again. I squished too hard. Let's try again. Much better. Uh, sorry. The Evening Evergreen is part of the In Color collection. So we'll round that out. Close this because you know my fingers are going in there. Grab the die. Grab this one. And line that up, bring in my washi tape so it doesn't move when I put it into the cut and emboss machine. Just a little tape. Again, put it on your hand, put it on your clothes, anything that will take the tacky off and won't ruin your project. So I'm trying to center this. There we go. Bring back the cut and emboss. That through. There we go. Now it's not coming off. There. I'm going to set this right there since I have the machine already out again. I want to cut some flowers, save that tape, cut some of these leaves in the soft succulent, and this flower in the fresh freesia. So let's be efficient, let's see, fresh freesia. Send that guy through. Then a couple of the leaves. Sandwich that up and crank it through. And we can decorate the inside. All right. Oops. Oh my goodness. All right. 
those come out. And leaf. I will find that other die a bit. A couple of flowers. Are those pretty? Okay, we're good. Set this aside. What do we want to do? Let's finish building the outside. I'm going to go grab some mini dimensionals. And I just use the stamp cases to keep them all together. Do you see that jump onto my finger? I may have to do an instant replay on that one. When you're putting the dimensionals on, you want to make sure you have enough that it doesn't get squished in the mail, but not too much that it's wasteful. Okay, he's hanging over the side. Let's fix that. Remove the release paper. One more. Bring in my tea ruler. Put this up in the corner. Right. Oops. Right here. And squish. Clean up. Get off. All right, let's decorate the inside. Too cute. I've gone ahead and cut another basic white at five and a half, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four. And it's just gonna give a really pretty tone on tone. You could also mat it with another uh, cardstock. You could bring in the black or one of these that we've already used, but I'm just gonna do white on white. Little snail, or not snail, stamp and seal. Line it up. Sorry if my head's in the way. There we go. And then where are my little flowers here? Let's poke these out. That's one. Two, couple of the leaves, Ugh. one, come on, one more. Here we go. Ugh. I keep saying that it's because I got glue all over. All right. How do I want to arrange these? What do you think? Yep, let's go for it. Glue. Where's my glue? Here we go. down in the corner. One. You know what? I might just put one down there. Oh, I like that better. I'll save the other guy for later. Another project. There, oh, I like that. Let me squish him in. Technical term. Oh, that's pretty. Nice and delicate. Oh, that's decorate the envelope. Grab 
that. Let's see what can we use. This one right there. Put that away and I'm going to use the fresh freesia. And that will match with the inside. So fresh freesia, little flower, pretty little hint of what's inside. And again, that was the Fresh Freesia ink. And I think that's it. That is it. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit subscribe, like, and definitely share. And don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to add dots because I think they're cute. So this is part of my creative process. I finish a card and go, ooh, I could add this. So these are just the matte black dots. Odd numbers. I am using the take your pick tool, the putty end, and sliding it off the release paper. There. I like that. That kind of finishes it. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.